Welcome to Business Connection Zoom Edition. I'm Liz Spencer, and today I'm joined by Dr. Mary Clifton of Boomer Naturals. Welcome, doctor. Thank you for having me, Liz. So we're in a very different time now. So why is it so important for people to follow the CDC guidelines and wearing a mask in public? Well, in this pandemic, this virus is very contagious and it lives on surfaces for a long period of time, but it can also hang in the air. The studies are showing for up to three hours. So even if you're avoiding somebody who's actively coughing or who appears to be sick, you could still walk around them and walk into somebody else's cough cloud and then give yourself a very significant viral exposure. So it's helpful not only if you're sick to protect yourself from somebody else, but also if you're around other people who are sick, wearing that mask is going to help you to not inhale such a high level of uh, viral uh, contagion. Since the public is having to wear masks, you know, we're we're encouraged not to wear the N95s. Those are for frontline workers. So, and and regular masks are, are a little hard to get available, so we're making our own. What makes a good, highly effective mask? What do we well, need? I think it's important for a mask to be comfortable and be able to breathe and talk through because otherwise it's going to be something that you're not going to want to wear or that you're going to be pulling off your face intermittently and trying to catch air. So finding something that's breathable and easy to talk through is important. And then after that, looking for a higher level of filtration because we know that a cloth mask or a bandana or some type of single layer cloth is better than nothing. A couple of layers of cloth becomes even better. Then when we start adding additional filtration beyond that is when you really get into some effectiveness for masks. Any tips for how to wear a mask or how to take it on and off? That's tricky too, especially with with women. We have longer hair. Um, is there and we some have makeup yeah, and but... that gets in your way? So that's that's tricky too. All of my masks have a little red uh, lip. You know, what's in the center of them. But let me show you how to just uh, take this on. This is three layers of really comfy, cozy cotton polyester fibers. And the Boomer masks have some nano silver technology in them. So they trap about 92.9% of airborne pollutants with that nano silver technology. And they're very easy to use. You just loop the ear loop around one ear and then bring it over your nose and mouth and loop it on the other ear. And then just check the fit. You want to make sure that you're not getting a bunch of gaps where air can come into the mask and, and, and then get around your filtration. And then just try to keep your hands off your mask because if you're out, your hands may be uh, dirty or you may get some contamination from your mask. If you touch it, Don't worry, just use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer or wash your hands. And then when you come home, just take the mask off by using your ear loops again, one ear loop and then the other. And then you can do one of two things. You can wash it for two minutes in warm soapy water and set it to air dry on the counter or hanging, or you can put it in a paper bag in the um, oven on the lowest setting for 20 minutes, and that will sanitize it also. But if it's looking dingy, you might just want to give it a scrub. We would recommend you do that by hand. You at Boomer Naturals right now are selling these masks, right? The one you just demonstrated, I can, I can go on your website and purchase, correct? Yes, ma'am. In, in a couple of different colors and also sized for kiddos too, with some really sweet patterns. They sent me this little bunny mask to show you. This is so oh, cute. Fun. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to get those for my grandkids. That's awesome. So, and that, that brings me to a question. Everybody needs to be wearing a mask. Children should be wearing masks. Everybody over the age of two, just because I think it's probably going to be hard to wrangle a two-year-old and right, keep right, them right. covered. <laughs> but anybody over the age of two should be wearing a mask. It's just a great idea for uh, protecting yourself. You don't know how the rest of the population is, is doing. And the problem with this virus is that it's up to two weeks that people can be sick before they actually manifest uh, infectious symptoms. So they're transmitting the virus the whole time that they're sick like that. And that puts you and your family at risk. So this just provides you with some added level of protection and support. So that, so that you can be as safe as you can be. That's wonderful. Um, are your masks available? I, lots of people advertise them and then you order them and, and people are still waiting. I, I know a friend who has four different orders in. He's like, I'm going to get masks a year from now when I don't need them. 
Right. There's a whole bunch of supply line disruption. These are available and ready for immediate delivery. So especially if you put your delivery as urgent, you should be able to get them extremely quickly. That's wonderful. Now you're also um, providing and making hand sanitizer, which is another hot oh, item. Yes. So it is so hard to find. Tell me a little bit about your hand sanitizer. Tell me a little bit about what we should know about hand sanitizer too. Well, hand sanitizer is a nice alternative to washing your hands. You want to choose an alcohol-based hand sanitizer and use enough so that you're able to cover your whole hand surface. Because in the past, when we've done studies on influenza or SARS or MERS, you, we've actually been able to even culture that virus from under the wedding rings of healthcare providers. It's a very sticky bug. So when you're using it, just make sure you cover and your entire hand surface and uh, rub it in until your hands feel dry, until the alcohol has, uh, has evaporated. But that's a very effective product. And, and like I said, difficult to find. I'm grateful to have any at all. Right. Well, and I think that's wonderful too, because I think people should be carrying hand sanitizer. I have it in my car. I have a little one in my, that goes in my coat pocket because hand washing is probably the best thing, but we can't always get nice hot soapy water to work with. So we want to- Well, it's a little different lifestyle now, isn't it? I mean, I go everywhere with two masks because the studies show that as you humidify a mask, it decreases its efficacy. So as you breathe in and out after about 15 minutes, it might be wise if you have a mechanism to do so to have a second mask and be able to apply that one if you're running several errands and having several contacts. But you know, that's- but sometimes I just leave the same mask on because my risk is very low with each errand that I'm running. Take advantage of that curbside delivery as much as you can. But I would still mask while somebody is loading the groceries into your car. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and then using the hand sanitizer, I keep some Lysol spray. So if I get something in the car that I want to make sure is starting to decontaminate, I'll just spray it before I even drive away. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, it's it's different leaving the house, isn't it? It is. I feel like we're going to have masks, take masks like we take sunglasses now. We all have sunglasses all over the place. We put them on, but I think we're going to have to do that with masks. Mm -hmm. Um, How you touched on a little bit, but how often should that mask be changed? Is it once a day? If I'm if I'm out every day, should I have five masks? Well, I think it depends on how much cleaning you want to do. If you can get home and wash the mask uh, immediately in some soap and water and hang it, it'll be ready for the next day. So you can reasonably rotate through one mask. It's always nice to have more than one just so that, you know, because you are going to be wearing them every time that you're out uh, for your own protection and for others' protection. And so having more than one is just going to make it easier for you. Super. Well, we appreciate Boomer Naturals um, helping us with this, with good masks and good hand sanitizer. Tell us a little bit about what Boomer Naturals does when we're not in a pandemic. Oh, I really love Boomer Naturals. You know, I I study CBD and cannabis and um, I know a lot of great CBD companies. Uh, Boomer Naturals is it provides a, a, a supplement that stimulates your body like CBD, but has no CBD in it. It has all of these other products that are very nice for promoting and supporting resilience in the endocannabinoid system, but without, you know, giving you a CBD exposure. So for people who are in recovery or for people who are just a little weirded out about hemp or cannabis, but are still CBD curious, this is a great product. Or for people who have CBD and they're getting a great result and they want to see if they can supercharge that result, that might be possible with this product too. That's awesome. Well, Dr. Clifton, we appreciate you um, helping us by making masks and providing hand sanitizer. And your knowledge with your, your medical background is so great because now we know we're getting a mask that's going to really work for us. So thank you so much. Thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to welcome. join me at Business Connection Zoom Edition. We wish you health and wellness and continue good luck. I wish all of that for all of you too. Take care.